Okay, so far we've taken a look at how to find Windows Movie Maker, our search programs and files bar. We've taken a look at import pictures, and then after importing them, how we into our actual movie or project that we're making. We talked about action between each slide, and then we also talked about effect for the individual images in the movie. What we're going to take a look at is adding titles or credits or any sort of text or images. When you click the adding credits selection it's going to bring these five options up and they're pretty self-explanatory title at all the way at the beginning of the movie or credits at the end now these three allow what image you select so if you select this image you can select to add a as before this and basically what windows Ma movie maker does for you it creates a whole separate image so it would really look like if we before and we just put real quick well done add to the movie so notice what window maker basically does is it just adds a second sorry well in this case adds a third slide in between these that completes text but that's not right now so we're going to delete that and click titles or credits and what we're going to do and obviously selecting that works the same way selecting on the clip the words appear does appear right on that image but we're going to keep it simple today title at the beginning of the movie now before i start and going through i just want you to know all the options are the same no matter which five which one select. so we're just going to put a title at the beginning i to call it mr poynton's movie maker project now with we have lots of options you can see it automatically previews it right here change the title animation how that words or the text actually come in we have many 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 different options this is the moving tile, tile layer, transparent overlapping titles, and we're going to go with that. We can also change the text. And this is where you can, we can have a lot of options. The background color is obviously blue, but we could easily change that to a nice line. Click OK. You can see the text is still white if we want to make it well, kind of orange. We can do that. Now we have text. Green background orange text. If we want to make our writing a little bigger, we can do that. If we want to position it, go to the left. It's the first thing I think sense. If we want to make it transparent or you can't see it well, you can see it gets a little bit harder to argue because of transparency. We can do that. I'm going to turn mine all the way up. Hold it a little bit, which I think looks neat. Underline it. These are all basically Windows, Microsoft Windows options that we have in a lot of other versions of PowerPoint. We have them in Windows Movie Maker as well. I'm going to take the, I'll keep it bold. And if we want to change um, the type uh, we have, as you can see, tons and tons and tons of options. I'm going to pick one randomly. Book. There we go. We're going to keep it looking at that. And after I go through all those options, all I need to do is add title to the movie. And as you can see, Movie Maker does that for me. Now, if we wanted to, you can see the effect here. If we wanted to choose something from here, leave it just like that. We can add a transition these slides just like we did by dragging one right here there. this as we can see already has an effect and we're transition so as we can see we'll preview the movie from the beginning by hitting play there's mr. Poynton's movie maker project with a transition and this picture is easing in one more transition and there's slide and that is how we add title or a credit in this case specifically a title to a Windows movie maker project Do not forget after you make changes, you want to make sure file, save the project. Thanks for listening.